problem. You are creating more problem within yourself. So address that issue. Yes. Find the, 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 the cause or the reason. Okay. And handle that. Handle that. Rather than finding another solution. Another solution. But no, no way. No way. I give you an example. Okay. I know. I know for a fact. Okay. That many of you may be doing things which you can't possibly allow someone else to do it, or that you have no way of delegating what that is. As an example, you are looking after your mother or father or something like that, okay? at old age and all that. You can't just throw it away. But at the same time, you have not looked at the cost benefit, no? meaning that because you are doing this, there are certain type of satisfaction you have. If you look at all the benefit that you are getting, out, not in terms of monetary, but self-satisfaction, then you probably think that the chore I'm doing for my mother or father is okay. Huh? I accept it. And, and, and I'm prepared for this because this is what I have become. So you see that, the useful one, okay? Like that, there will be many things that you do. Many of these habits, you see, you are doing it for the sake of another person, or you're doing it because it pleases somebody else. But in the end, you are the one suffering. Okay, now that, that comes. You must also ask yourself, should I be doing it? Okay? I mean, don't look in terms of cost and benefit, huh? but also in terms of the overall picture. You need a balance line. Yeah, exactly. You, you need to find a balance between your good habits and your bad habits. But the key is that people who are having these habits do not recognize that they are the one that is causing this to be even greater. It is not because it's harming you, but because at the same time you're doing it to please a third party or something like that. Okay? You understand? Because if you don't <laughs> go to the root of the cause of that, that bad habit, you will never change. In what situation too? You want a promotion. Example. Okay? You have to do a lot of things to get that. Okay? And you are prepared to sacrifice a lot to get that. Okay? You gotta ask balance. Why should I go through all this to get that? What is the benefit of this? Is it power? Is it image? What is it? In the end, huh? it may be zero sum game, you know. Okay? You understand? You can't call that uh, you're doing it for the sake of human society, you know. Can't do that. So, this is what I'm saying, okay? So, watch it. Under the pretext of I'm doing somebody else a favor, you may be actually developing uh, bad habits. That may not necessarily be good. So watch it. A lot of time we do this very unconsciously. A lot. A lot of our habits are actually very unconscious. All you got to do is to raise your conscious level. And when you raise your conscious level, the only way you can raise the conscious level is when you review yourself, you are reviewing your own self, then you will see. You can see that consciously that this is not helping me. In fact, it's making me go down. See, right? To me, right? almost all the answers that you are seeking for is inside you. It's not outside there. Because when people give you an opinion, like I'm giving you an opinion, that opinion is my experience. But that my experience need not necessarily be the one that will suit you. You have to find your own experience. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Any more? Sure. Okay. Yes, yeah. You said people should be aware of their bad habits. How? How? You, you should be aware of your bad habits. Yeah, how? How? Well, 
if you do something and ask yourself, I'm happy doing this. Or not. Does it help me? Does it benefit me? Is this good for me? Always me. Yeah. Huh? Does it help me? Huh? Does it make me happy? Am I satisfied with it? Uh, can I do better with this? Can I improve myself? Am I improving myself? You see, no? simple questions you ask yourself. Answer you have already. Is when you do it unconsciously, you don't even ask. You just continue. You rotates and moves on. And then eventually then, you become frustrated over it. Accept it. Then you know you use a simple excuse like ah, hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, shall be, right? No? Or he is like that or she is like that. You accept it. Once you accept it, you become unconscious of that behavior. Of you. Okay? Most people uh, who have problems, like I can see uh, at my age now, every step I take, uh, I got to be careful. Okay? Last week I was in India. Okay? We were working at about 8 o'clock at night. Now the lights were switched off. Me trying to be 19, you know, not realizing he's 79. <laughs> okay? There are steps, and, and Indian steps are like Chinese steps, right? some big and some small. Indian steps, chumps, like Chinese steps. They don't measure and do it, you know. one. So when I took the last step, I slipped. On one hand, on my right hand, was my back. On my left hand, on my shoulder was my this bag, and I had a, a jacket. Okay, I slipped. The last step. But lo and behold, uh, when I slipped, my foot, this foot, uh, hit the hit the next one. Uh, I was hold on to it, and I managed it without dropping the bag. Okay, I didn't pay much attention to it. I just massaged my leg, and then continued done. Okay, I felt a little bit about it the next day, next morning, but we were walking through. Then that night, I could travel back and arrive in Kuala Lumpur at 7.30 in the morning. And then I felt this part of my knee, yeah? okay, have a problem. Meaning that it was already painful for okay? I didn't do anything except a soothing pain reliever and I rested my feet completely. Okay, for one, two days. Okay, only from time to time, just pulling my muscles again, pulling slowly, slowly, repairing back again to become normal. See, the body has the capacity to repair itself. When you recognize it, you pay a little attention. Be become aware of it and slowly do that. And you're telling the nerve here. Okay, you got to get better. You tell, you tell yourself. You send the signal over. And it took me one and a half days to it was over. I'm back to normal again. So, so, so what did I learn from that experience? Immediately the next time don't try to be clever. Ask one of the younger fellows to carry your bag down. Or walk twice. Or switch on the light. Or get somebody to switch on the light. You see now. There are so many options. So don't try to get gun more. Try it. Say yes or no. So, like that, you can actually, actually benefit by this. By own, your own examination to find out okay, whether this is good for me or bad for you. That's what you can do. That's why I think it's not. So it's not a whole lot of difficult to change anything. It's not that difficult. We do it so unconsciously in life, uh, we accept it as a norm and we continue to do that. Okay? So, watch it. Uh, awareness is not just a word. Uh, it's more like what I just told you a little story about myself. You, you get that every day. Every single day you get it. But the question is, are you prepared to do something about it? Uh, there's no there's no such thing as it come by itself. You can't get that by reading a book or attending a seminar. You can't. 
you are doing yourself. As I told you, there's a small little repair. Okay? I didn't go to a orthopedic surgeon to get it done. I know what the problem was. Okay, at least I can feel it. And that's all. Work on it on yourself. In two days, turn it back to normal again. Fluid, the, the, you know, the muscles. Fluid. You know? Inflammation. Uh, okay, exactly. Inflammation. Can I? But again, I do more hot water and stretch my leg and you know, all that. Kind of simple thing. You can use your mind to get that done. But because you have the power of healing yourself, if you want to, uh, if you don't want to, what can I say? Okay, any more questions on habits? Come, shoot. Any more? Are you frightened to ask me or? Or you have no habits at all? All your habits are good habits. Which is great. <laughs> yes, Kevin. Sure. After real trying our interview, 